Oh yeah, Las Vegas 10 grand, Doncaster £2.50. Can't say fairer than that. Hiya, I'm Nikki and tonight I am in Doncaster at um, the Fruit Tree networking gig. What a shock it's been. I really thought there'd be 20 people when I got invited to do this tonight. And I've turned up, it's a complete sellout and what an amazing organisation this is. I don't think that this is going to be what you are all expecting. I really don't. I don't think that you have got any freaking clue as to what I'm talking about. But I'll tell you one thing, this is not new age bollocks. This works because I've made millions for people. Do you know what? It's really interesting because you could talk about the subject of connection for two years and still not be done. But I call my business show business selling because it's, and it really is, all selling is show business. Beyonce will change the way that 20,000 people feel about themselves in one hour when she does a gig. 20,000 people will change the way they feel in one hour. If you're in selling, you will change the way that 20,000 people feel, but it might take you almost a lifetime to do it. This is exactly the same process and the same principle, because if we don't get people to change the way they feel, they will ever get the money out of the wallet and give it to you. To meet or to delete, that is the question. So, what's happening right here? You know, when you meet somebody for the first time you've never met them before, let me tell you what's going on in your subconscious. You're thinking, do I want to see you again? Do I want to be waiting in Starbucks while you go get a table? Do I want to be backing money from my account to yours? Do I want you in my inbox? Do I want you anywhere in my world? Because my world is so full and so saturated, unless you make me feel something, I'm going to have to delete you, buddy, because I haven't got any room for you. I bought a market stall and took it from a grand a week to one and a half million a year. I was banking 37 and a half thousand quid a week 23 years ago. You know what? All I do is modify what created that and reapply it to other businesses. So, who's the greatest salespeople that ever lived? Anybody got any ideas? Jesus. Mm. Funny that. Have you seen this before? Sorry for swearing. I know there's some posh people here. I know what you're all thinking, you all looked at this and said, yeah, all right, darling, so you triple sales. Well, let me promise you that we often have, recently, and we regularly still do.